Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, I'm about four miles into the ride. What I did is I started at the smaller playground, which is further out from the entrance of this trail. When you get to the secondary playground, there's a circle that's one mile. So, I did that one mile. And then came up to the three mile mark at this point. Two miles was over there and then all the way around. So with three plus the one mile. So there you go. Um just remembering this spot because this is where we used to chill. And then we will continue on the trail that way to where I am going to continue on. I think I might just turn this into a 10 mile ride, maybe 11 mile ride to get me ready to go to the CGA. And then take the trail from Orange Springs all the way there. It's only 11 miles. Hey, that ain't shit. And you know, the new ride, it feels good. They know they shit, man. Trek know they shit. For real. Alright, so. That's about it. Um, there might be one more video. And that video will be on the return back when I get back. Because I want to talk about the trip to L.A. The challenge. Well, yeah, screw that. Let's just talk about that now and just get out of the way. And I'm just going to continue to ride, go to the vehicle, lock my bike up, head back to the city, and get ready for work tonight. So, y'all know where I'll be at tonight. Don't forget to stop by and say hi. It's going to be a cold party. So, talk about the trip. I filled up the tank in Hayward when I went to see my daughter. And from there, did a drop off in Oakland and then just swooped right into I-5. I was 120 miles outside of LA and I was at a quarter of a tank. And that's the same gas, the same tank of gas quarter mile, okay, quarter of a tank, quarter of a tank, okay, and I was 120 odd miles outside of Los Angeles, so I have to actually put my evaluation on that, I feel that's pretty good, because I've actually burned off more gas and had to stop in the middle of, you know, the trip to get gassed up, but, you know, that's driving in U-Hauls and V8s, and, you know, bigger vehicles, vans, stuff like that. So um, this is drinking gas somewhat like a V6, but not as thirsty. I guess anybody on YouTube and Facebook, okay, hit me up on this. If you feel that that was proper for the vehicle that I have, be it a hybrid or just practical for, you know, your regular V6. And I'm talking about a V6 SUV, okay? So hit me up, let me know. So I'm about to continue my ride and peace out.